English learners, welcome back to English Pod. My name is Marco. And my name is Catherine. And today we're talking about being clean. Yeah, we're going to be doing the laundry, right? It's a very important part of everyone's weekly schedule. And not only important, but I find it to be a little bit difficult because, you know, like washing machine and what clothes you should mix with what, and, you know, how much detergent and how long. It's such a complicated process. Well, let's say this. It might not be difficult, but it's very easy to mess up. Exactly. Yeah, that's the problem. It's very easy to like, just ruin your favorite t-shirt if you don't do laundry correctly. Or all of your white socks turn pink, <laughs> for example. Right. So we're going to be looking at a lot of vocabulary and phrases related to this topic. And uh, before we get started with the dialogue, why don't we take a look at vocabulary preview? Vocabulary preview. Okay, so central to all of these phrases and words that we're going to be hearing is a, a thing, an electric thing, that helps us wash our clothes. Right, a washing machine. All right, pretty simple, right? So washing is uh, to wash, washing, and machine. So they go together, washing machine. Right. Pretty simple. So it's easy now. You just put all your clothes in this thing and it washes it for you. Vroom, vroom, now, you know, a lot of people don't like to use washing machines. They say it doesn't really clean the clothes as well as doing it by hand. Really? Well, I'd say most clothes get, get washed pretty well with a washing machine. But yeah. if you have those hard to... Uh, hard to get stains or some dirt, maybe it's good to have a washing board. A washing board, yeah. Yeah, where you can really scrub it yourself. And, uh, well, funny you mentioned that word stain because it's our second word that we're going to preview, a stain. All right, a stain is some color, maybe some food or wine or grass that you can't remove from your clothes. Right. So it's very common. You're having a nice dinner and all of a sudden you spill wine on your shirt. So you have mm. a wine stain. I hate that. And uh, you can also have stain on your you can also have a stain on your carpet. Mm -hmm. Right? So if you spill some coffee on your carpet, it's got a little circle that's brown forever. <laughs> <laughs> right? Or you know, even some people have stained the teeth, right? That's right. So you can get them turned back white with, <laughs> with a little money to your dentist. Exactly. So those are the two words that we're going to be looking at today in vocabulary preview. So let's listen to our dialogue. Let, let's see what's happening with these people that are doing laundry. Okay, let's go through this one more time. I don't want any more ruined or dyed blouses. I, I know, I know. Okay, so I had to separate the colors from the whites and put them in this strange-looking contraption so-called washing machine. Right. You have to turn it on and program it depending on what type of clothes you're washing. For example, for delicates, you should set a shorter washing cycle. Also, be sure to use fabric softener and this detergent when washing. So complicated. Okay, what about this red wine stain? How do I get it out? Since this is a white t-shirt, you can just pour a little bit of bleach on it and it will do the trick. Cool. Then I can just throw everything in the dryer for an hour and it's all set, right? No! Since you're washing delicates and cotton, you should set the dryer to medium heat and for 20 minutes. You know what? I'll just have everything dry cleaned. Okay, so we've got someone who is maybe doing the laundry for the first time, mm. and uh, he's not really understanding the instructions he's got. <laughs> well, that's the thing, I tell you. It's a little bit difficult, and, well, it's very tedious at times to try and do laundry like this. Well, the first thing that's maybe tedious about it is that you have to really worry about what colors go together. Right, so let's take a look at those words that were related to doing laundry now in Language Takeaway. Language takeaway. Okay, the first word we have is actually related to a joke we made earlier about pink socks. So if you change the color of something, you're dyeing it. Okay, okay. dye. So it's pronounced exactly the same way as, you know, to die, to not live anymore. <laughs> dye. But it's spelled differently. D-Y-E. Okay, so it can be a verb or an adjective. Or a noun. Or a noun. So something that you put on clothes to change the color is called a dye. A dye. But uh, to do this, to change the color of some clothes is to dye the clothes. Mm -hmm. So that's maybe what happens when you wash a red t-shirt with all your white t-shirts. Then you have dyed shirts. Mm -hmm. You have pink shirts. And, ugh. 
And also women, when they go to the beauty salon, they dye their hair. Exactly. So that means you change the color of your hair. It means it's a long-term change. It's、mm-hmm. not short. It's not like one day. Right. It means... Probably for a long time.、Mm-hmm. So that's the correct word to dye. Very different. Maybe some people say to paint, which, you know, you, we understand, but the correct form would be to dye. And next we have a word that describes a certain kind of clothing. We're not talking about pants or socks, we're talking about delicate. Delicate. So now, this adjective delicate, which means it's very easy to break, fragile, right? Yeah. But this is a noun, delicate. Right. So you think of something that's easy to break or to ruin, maybe you think of underwear. Underwear. You know, underwear is something you wear under your clothing, and so it's generally not as strong as a shirt or a、mm-hmm. pair of jeans. And so we call these in English delicates.、Mm-hmm. Very good. So you have to be careful when you're washing your delicates because. It's happened to me before. You like put them in with all the clothes and then you have stretched out boxers or something like that. Yeah, so that's why many women I know、uh, wash delicates by hand.、Uh-huh. So you separate the clothes from the delicates. Very good. And now, if you're washing delicates or you're washing towels or t shirts, it's always a good idea to use fabric softener. All right, fabric softener. What are these two words? One of them you understand already. Maybe it's soft softener.、Mm-hmm. So it makes it soft. Yeah, something that makes something softer. We've got fabric softeners.、So、that's something that makes the clothes that you wash softer.、Mm-hmm. So, fabric is any type of material, right? Like a textile. Yeah.、Fabric. So, it could be cotton or、mm-hmm. silk or nylon. Or linen. So, these are all kinds of fabrics. So, you pour a little bit of this in your washing machine and your clothes come out really nice and soft.、Mm, it feels nice just talking about it. <laughs> all right. And, well, also to wash your clothes, to actually make them clean. You use detergent. Right. So many people might want to say the word soap because、mm-hmm. soap is what we use to wash our hands、mm-hmm. and our dishes. But here we have detergent. So this is a special soap for your clothes. Right. Laundry detergent. Yeah. You could just say laundry, you could say laundry detergent or simply detergent.、Mm-hmm. And now, in order to remove those nasty stains that maybe are very hard. Uh, you would use a chemical called bleach. All right. So, bleach is the dangerous chemical because it smells very strong. Right. And it can change the color of your clothes to white or yellow. So, we usually only use bleach with white clothes.、Mm-hmm. I actually had a friend who changed the color of his hair to white using bleach. He put bleach on his head and on his hair, and it just turned white. Oh, wow. So, many people do that because they want to go from dark colors to light、mm-hmm. colors. And in that case, you wouldn't say, you could say that he dyed his hair white. But usually you would say he bleached his hair. It's so we understand that it turned white. <laughs> exactly. So, those five words we just looked at in language takeaway, they're important. They're related to doing laundry. So,、uh, before we move on, let's listen to our dialogue again, but a little bit slower. Okay, let's go through this one more time. I don't want any more ruined or dyed blouses. I know, I know. Okay. So, I have to separate the colors from the whites and put them in this strange looking contraption, so called washing machine? Right. You have to turn it on and program it depending on what type of clothes you are washing. For example, for delicates, you should set a shorter washing cycle. Also, be sure to use fabric softener and this detergent when washing. So complicated. Okay. What about this red wine stain? How do I get it out? Since this is a white t shirt, you can just pour a little bit of bleach on it and it will do the trick. Cool. Then I can just throw everything in the dryer for an hour and it's all set, right? No. Since you are washing delicates and cotton, you should set the dryer to medium heat and for 20 minutes. You know what? I'll just have everything dry clean. So, here at English Pod, we like to also provide you listeners with some phrases that allow you to increase your fluency. So, that means sound more like a native English speaker. And so, today, let's check out these phrases in Fluency Builder. Fluency Builder. All right. So, on Fluency Builder, we're going to be looking at four words or four phrases. So,、uh, the first one was really easy. When she was、uh, telling the guy or instructing him how to do the laundry, she said, Let's go through this one more time. Go through what? The wall? <laughs> no, so it's not actually to go through an object, right? To pass. 
So it's let's repeat or let's、uh, rehearse again. Okay, so normally we say this when there are many different steps to do something. So let's go through this again.、Mm-hmm. When you leave work, you go home, you unlock the door, <laughs> you open the door. And then, so it's, it means that there's a there's a process.、Right. You know, there are many steps, and so let's go through this again as a way for us to say let's let's think about and discuss this process.、Mm-hmm. Very good. So we also use it maybe when we're studying. So let's go through this、uh, subject one more time. Can we go through chapter five again? I don't understand exactly. it exactly. So you would reread a chapter five.、Mm-hmm. All right. So、um, why don't we listen to a couple of more examples of how we could use go through. Example one. I want to go through chapter five again before the exam tomorrow. Example two. David, do you have time this afternoon to go over the details of this new project? Example three. I went through my contract, and it says that I am entitled to fifteen vacation days a year. Now this next phrase is very common when we're using sarcasm when we're trying to make jokes. So、mm-hmm. we say "so-called." Right. So she said this so-called contraption. It's like she doubts that it's really a washing <laughs> machine. So I could say, "Her so-called boyfriend wants to go out tonight." So、mm-hmm. I say that because he doesn't really act like a boyfriend.、Mm-hmm. Right? So you're being sarcastic. It's a、yeah. very good way, an easy way of、uh, demonstrating sarcasm. Yeah, actually, in the 1990s in America, there was a very famous TV show called My So-Called Life.、Mm-hmm. And right, so this is My So-Called Life. It's almost like it's not really like I have any control over it. So. Yeah, or I don't really have a life because it's kind of boring. Yeah, so <laughs> My So-Called Life, not、right. bragging. It's、so、a you, joke. So you can say My So-Called Friends, My So-Called Job. Basically, you can almost be sarcastic with anything. Yeah, but be careful that you、uh, that you know that it's a joke because、yeah. if you're trying to be serious. <laughs> You might make some people angry, right? And now, well, she was explaining the whole process of how to do it, and when she recommended using bleach, she said that should do the trick. Trick. So dogs do tricks, right? Right. But to do the trick, right? What? What? So it's what got a different meaning. All right. So she's saying this should work. This should fix your problem.、Mm-hmm. So that should do the trick. So Marco,、uh, I've been having this. Itch on my foot, and I and I just can't I can't seem to to figure out what to do with it. Do you have any suggestions? Yeah, you should maybe just put some ointment on it, and that should do the trick. All right, cool. Thanks、mm-hmm. for the suggestion. Yeah, so very easy. It's just a way of saying that should solve your problem. All right, great. So that should do the trick, or it will do the trick.、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And well, we have one last phrase. All set. All set. So this is another phrase that、uh, that has two words that always go together to mean,、uh, well, we're finished, we're done. Everything is ready. Everything is ready. We're all set to go on vacation. So my bags are packed. I have my passports. We are all set. Or after a meeting, you can say, "Are we all set here?" That means, "Are we finished?、Mm-hmm. Is it time to leave?" Very good. So we are almost all set. Let's listen to this dialogue one last time. Okay, let's go through this one more time. I don't want any more ruined or dyed blouses. I, I know, I know. Okay, so I had to separate the colors from the whites and put them in this strange-looking contraption, so-called washing machine. Right. You have to turn it on and program it depending on what type of clothes you're washing. For example, for delicates, you should set a shorter washing cycle. Also, be sure to use fabric softener and this detergent when washing. So complicated. Okay, what about this red wine stain? How do I get it out? Since this is a white T-shirt, you can just pour a little bit of bleach on it, and it will do the trick. Cool. Then I can just throw everything in the dryer for an hour, and it's all set, right? No. Since you're washing delicates and cotton, you should set the dryer to medium heat and for 20 minutes. You know what? I'll just have everything dry cleaned. Have you ever had any laundry mishaps? Have you ever have, lost a sock, dyed something? Have I ever? <laughs> I hate doing the laundry. Why? It's so much. It, it's time consuming.、Mm. It takes a lot of time, and I just 
I have no patience. Mm -hmm. And so normally when I was in, well, at least when I was in college, I would take all of my laundry in a bag and I'd throw it in the washing machine and I'd put it on cold, you know, because mm -hmm. cold water, it's okay for all colors, but mm -hmm. hot water makes the colors bleed. bleed. Mm -hmm. I took out the clothes and put them in the dryer. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, I saw all my clothes were clean except for my three sweaters, which were small enough for babies. Ah, oh, you <laughs> shrunk so, it. Yeah, I, I shrunk three brand new sweaters. Oh, that's yeah. too bad. The problem that I have when doing laundry is that I forget that I started doing laundry. So all of a sudden, you know, I'm doing laundry in the morning and then the clothes are, are washed, but they're still in the washing machine. And I remember like the next day. So then Ew. the clothes are like kind of smelling, like kind of humid. Because they're moldy. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, so I have to rewash them and it's just like a pain. Yeah, but doing laundry is sometimes so time consuming. But let us know what you think. Do you like doing, doing laundry or have you ever lost a sock? I think everyone has lost a sock or something oh, in their washing, right? I, I don't know what happens. I think there's a secret home for socks somewhere. <laughs> it's so weird. Maybe it's in Australia or something. <laughs> so come to our website, EnglishPod.com. Uh, give us all your feedback, questions, comments, or suggestions. And we're always there. All right, hope to hear from you soon. And until next time, everyone. Bye. Bye.